Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It is Friday, hella freaking luya. What a week it has been. I hope you guys have all had an amazing week and I hope you've got something awesome planned for the weekend. And even if you don't have anything awesome planned for the weekend, I hope you have a cracking one anyway. Um, today we are reacting to Terry Fox, Anything's Possible. And this is a recommendation from Chris Ram, Ramdeal, Ramdial. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, Chris. I do apologize. Um, he actually sent me an email with the link um, because I'm not able to access. Well, I'm able to access the comments on these YouTube videos at the moment, but until I get my computer and that sorted, um, I try and keep my phone and that separate from the YouTube channel, so I'm not constantly on my phone. So I haven't replied to a lot of comments. I do apologize, but Chris emailed me. I'll put the email up on screen now. I hope you don't mind, Chris. And he said he's a huge hockey fan, and I've enjoyed your reactions to hockey and the way you, your son is playing now. Being Canadian, I would like you to react to a video, or at least part of it, about Terry Fox, who achieved one of the most amazing athletic and human, uh, humanitarian efforts ever. I would encourage you to watch one of the long videos on him to get a much better picture of who this man is. Chris, I will do, I will watch a long video, um, but I did say to you, I replied to your email and I said I'll do the reaction today. So I'll react to the video you sent me and then I'll go and do some research on him. I hope it's okay doing it that way around. It's just I wanted to get it out there for you. Um, if you guys haven't done so already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra frisky on this Friday, you may as well hit the like button as well. And without further ado, let's get into Cr Terry Fox, Anything, Anything's Possible. <laughs> Amputee. Good afternoon at 2.45 in St. John's Harbor, Terry Fox dipped his foot into the waters of the Atlantic Ocean. When Terry Fox was 18 years old, doctors discovered cancer in his right leg. Oh. It would change his life and change Canada forever. And one morning I woke up and I couldn't get out of bed that day. They told me I had a malignant tumor and that I had to have my leg amputated in four, in four days. And I decided after my year and a half of chemotherapy that I'd try and run across Canada and raise as much money as I could. When he first started the run across what Canada at the age of 21. What a legend. I mean, you're either going to go two ways with news like that, aren't you? You're either going to get really down on yourself and just give up on anything, or you're going to do something pretty miraculous and pretty awesome like he's doing. What a legend. I mean, I don't, I can't say. I've never been in his, this is going to sound terrible, but I've never been in his position. I was going to say in his shoes. I've never been in his position to have to make that choice. So fair play to him. What a legend. I don't know what I would do personally. I would like to think that I would do come out of it in a positive way, but you never know. And raise as much money as I could. When he first started the run across Canada at the age of 21, must be agony almost as no well. one noticed. He ran alone, 42 kilometers a day, a full <laughs> marathon on one leg every day <laughs> of the week. He endured every type of weather in Newfoundland. There was rain, sleet, and snow. And he's in shorts and a t-shirt. Because he was running westward, Terry was often running directly into the wind. <sighs> Terry loved the early morning, so he would often get up at 4 a.m. anyways and start running and get a few miles in, stop for breakfast, and then he would finish the rest of his miles off. His best friend, Doug Allward, trailed in a van behind him. He ran from Newfoundland towards his hometown of Vancouver, where he planned to finish the run and pour water he collected from the Atlantic into the Pacific, symbolically uniting our country. Flippin' hey. The prosthetic that Terry had was actually a walking leg. Back in the 1980s, people didn't run on prosthetic legs. Running on his prosthetic leg was incredibly painful for Terry. His stump would chafe and bleed. He set many goals for himself, and he had to work incredibly hard to achieve them. When I'm running each day, I take one day at a time. When I'm running, I take one mile at a time, and I take one corner at a time. 
every signpost, I'm looking at it and, and reaching out for that signpost. Every I think what he's just said there is really important. I know I know some people get irritated with me uh, interrupting, but I'm going to interrupt. I'm reacting to a video, so I do apologize. But what he said is is so important. He takes things one step at a time, one 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 minute at a time, and that's the way I take life. I have to take it like that, like that because I suffered massively from depression and stress, and I sort of I didn't heal myself. I don't want to say I've, I've healed myself, but that's what I needed to do. I just needed to release everything and just say, you know what, that's it. I'm not going to stress about tomorrow. I'm going to just carry on living minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day. And I'm going to carry on like that because that's the way I've sort of been able to deal with things. And that's awesome advice that he gave. And I mean, the agony, I was going to I did say he must have been in pain. But you could see the, the his prosthetic isn't as advanced as the ones you get nowadays. He must have been in so much pain. I've, Oh. Every signpost, I'm looking at it and, and reaching out for that signpost. Every corner, I'm reaching out, and this is the type of thing I'm thinking of when I'm running. The night before mm. Terry's operation, um, you know, I visited Terry. Um, it was just him and me in my in his hospital room, and all I could think of saying to Terry at the time was, "Terry, why do you have to have cancer? Why not me? Why not somebody else? Why you?" When Terry's answer immediately was, "Why, why not me, Fred? I've been told all my life I'm not the biggest, I'm not the strongest, I'm not the fastest or the smartest. This is just another challenge I have to overcome." Terry's what a good determination attitude. began to pay off. People began to take notice. When running through a town of 10,000 people, he raised $10,000, $1 for every person. He changed his goal of raising $1 million for cancer research to $24 million, $1 for every Canadian. So when Terry was in hospital, one of the nurses thought that it would be better for him um, to be placed in the children's ward. He was surrounded by kids who were suffering from cancer as well. Those are the faces that he never forgot. I'm crying now because I, there's somebody here right now who is going through the same thing that I went through. Exact same thing, and he's only 10 years old. And I, I had the most inspirational uh, day of my life today. At the time of Terry's diagnosis, oh, his chance me. of survival was around 50%. Had Terry been diagnosed uh, a, a few short years earlier, he would have been faced with a 30 or 35 percent chance of survival. It was right there that Terry learned the importance of cancer research and raising money to find a cure for cancer. You know, sometimes I have to run in a lot of pain and I get pretty tired, but I don't feel any pain when I get support like this. So you're fabulous, man. Thank you for that. What the support amazing. kept growing. News media across Canada began to cover Terry Fox's Marathon of Hope with daily updates of where he was. From stadiums to city centres in the heart of Canada, thousands went out to meet him, and donations towards cancer research began to pour in. Terry wasn't running across Canada to become famous or to become rich. He wanted to make a difference in other people's lives. What a selfless thing to do, isn't it? There was absolutely no question that this was some iconic event that was happening. Talking about cancer publicly was something that really wasn't done very much. He made it okay to talk about cancer. And that was the first most important step to then allow the rest of the population to do what needed to be done to start thinking of raising funds for cancer research. Researchers across Canada have devoted their lives to learning what cancer is and how to cure it. We have lots of cells in our body, and what happens with cancer cells is they forget to grow up. They just start dividing and dividing and making more and more of themselves. Cancer is a horrible thing, and I'm, I'm sure everybody watching this video has been affected by it in some way or another. Um, I lost both my gra well, both my grandparents, my dad's parents, both of them died, and his stepmom died from cancer, and it was just a horrible, horrible, horrible thing to witness, you know, um, as a as quite a young child when visiting them and stuff and you just saw the decline it's such an evil horrible horrible sickness it's it's horrible cells and become a huge lump and that lump essentially is cancer today thousands of schools across canada raise money for cancer research by participating in the terry fox run when i say terry you say ah! terry ah! 
It is so good to see you here, all wearing your Terry Fox shirts. Schools all across Canada, from as far as St. John's, Newfoundland, all the way to Victoria, BC, raised so much money for cancer research in his honor. I'm a cancer survivor of the same cancer that Terry had, called osteosarcoma. My dad and I were about to go out fishing when he noticed one of my shoulder blades was visibly much larger than the other. That was the night that they told me that I had uh, a form of bone cancer in my right shoulder blade. Terry said that I remember promising myself if I should survive then I'll prove myself deserving of life. And that was something that I carried into my own journey that if I should survive that I will prove myself deserving of life, that I will keep fundraising. More money equals more research. More research equals more hope. There I'll see if I can do it guys. I'll try and find a cancer research link that you can donate to rather than buying me a coffee or anything like that. I, if you were ever like, tempted to do that, I would rather you donate to cancer research or at least the Children's Foundation because flippin' heck, we need more, they need more help than anyone really. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm fit and I'm healthy. There's so many more people more deserving. So yeah. There are so many other Canadians who are dealing with their own battles in cancer and that's why we need to fundraise to help those people. There were a couple of nights where I had woken up feeling a uh, pain in my hip. My mom took me to the family doctor after school one day. They transferred us to sick kids where they found out that I had leukemia. One of the most common child cancers is called leukemia, which is a cancer of the white blood cells, the cells that fight infections. Around the time that I was born, only 2% of children with leukemia survived, and now over 90% do. I started to feel better. Wow, 90%. Pretty soon. It was only like a year later that I started going back to hockey and running around, and not my regular self, but much better than I had been. Terry had a dream of running from one end of Canada to the other. He took a long and winding route through the country and had run over 5,000 kilometers. It just looks uncomfortable. He was just east of Thunder Bay, Ontario, when things started to change. Terry knew earlier on that something was wrong. It was very rare for him to want to go and see a doctor. So when they stopped in Thunder Bay, everybody knew that something very serious was happening. I had noticed a little bit of hardness in breathing near the end of the day, 18 miles. Um, I was coughing and choking and had pain in my neck and my chest. And I did three more miles and I, had to, I decided I had to go see a doctor. And it was discovered then that uh, I had primary, originally I had primary cancer in my knee three and a half years ago. And uh, that the cancer had spread, and now I've got cancer in my lungs. Oh, and uh, we got to go home and try and try and do some more treatment. But uh, all I can say is, uh, if there's any way I can get up there again and finish it, I will. Terry had to stop the run and fly home to Vancouver to undergo more cancer treatment. At 22 years old, Terry became the youngest person ever to be awarded the Order of Canada, an award that recognizes outstanding achievement and dedication to the service of our country. Terry Fox's courage in embarking on the Marathon of Hope has won him the admiration and affection of Canadians from coast to coast. Nine months later, he would pass away in the hospital. Oh, I've said to people before that I'm gonna do my very best to make it, I'm not gonna give up, and that's true. But I might not make it. And if I don't make it, the marathon of hope better continues. Terry reached his goal of raising $24 million. In honor of his legacy, the Terry Fox Foundation was born with a mission to fundraise for cancer research to ultimately find a cure. What started as one Flipping person head. back in I wasn't expecting that. just Terry on his marathon of hope has grown to over 8,500 schools and millions of students across the country participating in the Terry Fox Run. The foundation has raised over $750 Holy million dollars for cancer research in Terry's name. 
How what is the future smart? looking like? Very bright, I would say. I know researchers are getting closer and closer every day to hopefully one day find that ultimate cure. 80% of the children that I treat are cured of cancer. 80%. And until this 80% becomes 100%, we will have not achieved what we need to. And that is what cancer research will help us accomplish. Every September, schools get creative with fundraising and go full swing into promoting their Terry Fox run. All the fundraising and the money that goes into it is like going towards cancer research and it's something worth running for. I'm thankful for the donors in the schools across Canada that really helped in, in my journey with cancer and allowed me to be here today. Every September, schools from Newfoundland to BC and up to Nunavut. That is crazy. He found out he had cancer in his lungs and he, his first thing that he wanted to do was get better to finish the marathon so that he can continue raising money. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. There's not many people like him alive. N is there? I mean, how many people can you think of that would do something so amazing? Well, I, I didn't expect for him to pass. I really, I, I've never heard of Terry, uh, Terry Fox before. Um, whoa. Launched their Terry Fox what a hard moving story. Roles, following his example of courage, determination, and compassion. Let's all be like Terry. On the count of three, repeat after me. I want to fight cancer. 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 One, two, three. It's just not right, is it? It's not right how the good one, the good people like that. I mean, there's so much evil and terror and nasty people in the world and then you get someone with a heart as big as his and then he suffered once and lost his leg and then halfway through doing well i don't know how far he was through doing something so amazing it just makes me angry sometimes that like it's always the good people you know It says there, Terry set goals every day. What, what will yours be? Let me know in the comments what your goals will be for today and for the rest of the weekend, really, because I think if you watch something like this, you cannot, you cannot walk away from it without trying to better yourself, I think. I think, I mean, I don't know what my goals will be. I need to start running properly again. I'm, I'm, I'm not running as much as I used to. I need to get out there and start running. So that'll be my goal for today. I'm going to go for a run this afternoon rather than when I finished here, rather than sit on the sofa or do something that I shouldn't really be doing, I'm going to get out there and go for a run. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Chris, I really appreciate your recommendation, mate. Thank you so much. I'd never heard of Terry Fox before, and what a breath of fresh air that like someone like him existed. What an awesome, awesome, awesome thing that he did. And to raise $750 million towards the, like cancer research is freaking heck. Um, his family... Everybody who knew him, the whole of Canada should be extra proud. What an awesome story. What an awesome guy. And yeah, I hope I could just be a fraction as good as him in my life. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome weekend and I will see you in the next video. Peace.